so decrease key operation of fibonacci heap will decrease a key uh, any node with key x to k so k is a given key and x is the existing key so this procedure is applied on fibonacci heap h with key, key x and the key which is to be decreased is k so first condition is we need to check whether this key is a uh, uh, greater than the key of x if it is greater than the key of x then uh, we it is not a decrease key operation okay so <coughs> let me select a pen okay fine now again then if key of x is uh, less than the if key of x is greater than the key of k then we will replace with the k because it will decrease it then uh, uh, we make a pointer which is pointing to the parent node we check whether parent is null if it is not equal to null and the key of the parent is greater than key of the child then we need to cut the node uh, x from the uh, child list and uh, what this cut processor does it will remove the x from the child list of y and decrement the degree of y then add this node x to the root list of h and make the parent as a nil and the mark as a false so this will do what it does it just cut the child from the child list and add it to the root list then after uh, cut the again we apply the cascade cut on the parent so this will check what does ca uh, cascade cut will check whether uh, uh, first it will check for the parent whether it is nil or not if it is not nil then check whether the mark is false or true if mark is false then make it true if it is already true then again cut on y and cascade cut on the parent of y so this is the recursive processor until we reach to the parent node or we reach to the root list okay after that we need to update the min pointer so here in line number eight and nine we update the min pointer so this is the processor for fib heap decrease key okay let's uh, uh, understand it with the example so suppose this is a, a tree given uh, uh, heap given as uh, fibonacci heap given as where mean of h is pointing to 7 now uh, <coughs> these are the mark nodes uh, this 26 18 and 39 are the mark nodes if you want to decrease the value of 46 so because the value which is decreased is pointing by x so if i want to decrease the value of x uh, from 46 to 29 then because the parent of x does not violated the mean heap property so there is no change in the heap so whenever you decrease the value of x and the value of x does not affect the mean heap property then there is no change in the heap so just decrease it and finish so if you want to decrease the same with 15 so now x is decreased with the value 15 15 is lesser than 24 this will violate the mini heap property so what we do we need to apply the cut so when this is the case we need to apply the cut so here what cut uh, algorithm says that so uh, this is the cut, cut procedure so it will uh, remove the x from the child list and add it to the root list of h so this is the root list i add the x to the root list of h okay then uh, after cut uh, we need to call the cascade per cut procedure on the parent so parent is here is 24 we update the pointer z so z is pointing to 7 if z is nil so z is not nil uh, so if z is not equal to nil so here uh, there is a mistake if z is not equal to nil we need to check if z is not equal to nil then we check for the mark node so mark node of y so mark node of y is false okay uh, yes so then we need to mark it so we need to mark the 24 as a uh, true so mark of y would be true okay then exit so this is all 
so in this case we just cut that uh, child node and add it to the root list and make it mark if it is false the mark is false then we mark it okay next is in another case if suppose uh, the x is pointing here and we need to decrement the value of uh, 35 to 5 so 5 is decremented this violated the mean heap property the parent of x is already marked so first we need to cut it and append to the root list so it is appended to the root list mean of h is updated and uh, uh, y is here so uh, after cut we need to apply the cascade cut on y and z so y is here so it is already marked so while z is not equal to nil here while z is not equal to nil uh, we need if mark of y is false so here this condition is not true it will go to the else part it will cut the y from the root list okay and append sorry cut from the child list and append it to the root list so this 26 is cut from here and append to the root list so this is uh, done so now 26 is appended to the root list again because the value of uh, in the else part cut is done now apply the cascade cut on the so this is a recursive processor we have to apply the cascade cut on z so here now z is passed as y and this would be uh, z in second recursion and this would be y so z is a parent of y it is while it is not equal to nil so this is not equal to nil so while it is not equal to nil we check whether mark is true yes mark is true we need to cut it so cut uh, it and paste into the root list so 24 will be paste on the root list then we apply the cascade cut on z so now this is my z we apply the cascade cut on z so in order to cascade cut we recursively call the same processor this is copied into the y and z is equal to nil now because the root list is nil so when z is equal to nil if, if condition is false because it is not nil here if condition is false so it is come out of the loop and uh, uh, the recursive processor ends here okay so what is what we does we just scan from the child list to the root list and uh, we just uh, recursively cut the nodes whether if the node is already uh, mark node okay we add these nodes to the root list then after that we have to update the minimum pointer in the root list so this is how we implement the decrease key operation in the fibonacci heap so let's uh, do the analysis of the decrease key operation so as you see that decrease key operation will uh, uh, have the multiple cascade cuts so recursively we do the cascade cut operation so for the analysis purpose the actual cost would be actual cost would be uh, in cut operation it will take order of one time plus because of cascade cut it will uh, add the time of uh, recursively cascade cut so recursive cascade cuts so how many cascade cuts are there suppose we up, uh, we call the cascade cut procedure c times so for each time we need order of one uh, time for each uh, uh, time we call this procedure we need order of one because we just shift the pointers so total time require or actual cost require is because we a call is at c time so this would be order of c or we can say that the actual cost is order of c now let's uh, do the amortize analysis for amortize analysis we require the change in the data structure and change in the potential function so the change in the potential function uh, so uh, is based on the change in the data structure so as we see that uh, how many trees are generated so initially the potential function is so before applying the operation the potential function is t of h minus 2 into m of h so this is the initial potential function 
so after uh, apply uh, the curds how many trees are there so after apply the curds uh, because this uh, cascade cut up uh, call uh, is c time so we can say that we have t of h plus c trees at most we have that many of trees after applying the cascade cut okay so this is that it means t of h initially we have t of h plus c minus 1 trees by cascade cut and plus 1 uh, tree rooted at x okay so these are the so total t h of t of h plus c trees are there and how many mark nodes so we have at most we have at most m of h means initial mark nodes minus how many cascade cuts are there plus 2 so that many mark nodes are there you can see the explanation in the Corman book so this many mark nodes are there and these are the number of trees after the operation is performed so the amortized analysis is a change in the potential so the change in potential would be calculated at t of h plus c that is a number of trees plus 2 into uh, number of mark node is m of h minus c plus 2 okay so this is the potential after the operation minus t of h minus 2 into m of h this is the potential before operation so the total change in potential is 4 minus c so the amortized analysis uh, uh, would be so amortized analysis cost would be actual cost plus change in potential so the actual cost is uh, order of c plus 4 minus c it means it will return as some 4 or constant time or I can say that it will take order of 1 time. So the decrease key operation will take order of 1 time in amortized analysis. Okay. Now next is deleting a node from the heap. So to delete a node uh, the simple procedure will take it first decrease the key with minus infinity or some minimum defined value of a node x then apply the extract min operation so this operation will take order of one time and this operation will take order of t of n time or we can also say, say that the total amortized analysis of the algorithm is order of d of n plus order of one it means order of d of n and we so is know that the degree of maximum degree of a heap is order of log n so i can say that it is take order of log n time so uh, there is nothing new in this processor this processor will just uh, call the two already defined processor that is heap fibonacci heap decrease key and fibonacci heap extract mean okay so thank you very much for watching